Were you aware that the deaths or injuries of albatrosses, petrels and other seabirds in fisheries can be avoided by using some simple but highly effective techniques known as bycatch mitigation measures? In longline fisheries, one of the most effective measures is to sink the baited hooks beyond the diving depths of seabirds as quickly as possible by using heavier weights and putting them closer to the hooks. This reduces the opportunities for birds to snatch the baits and get caught on the hooks before they sink to the desired fishing depth. Setting long lines by the cover of darkness is another great way to reduce bycatch, because many seabirds, particularly albatrosses, feed much more actively during the day, so there are fewer birds around at night to get caught. However, this is less effective for smaller nocturnal birds such as petrels or on moonlit nights. Another method, bird scaring or tori lines, were invented by Japanese fishermen to keep seabirds from taking baits from longline hooks. The streamers flap around in the wind and scare birds away from the line as it's being set. Not only is there more bait left to catch fish, but it also stops birds from being hooked and drowned. Bird scaring lines also work very well in trawl fisheries as they help keep seabirds away from the dangerous cables behind the vessel. Limiting or avoiding the discarding of fish offal from processing an unwanted catch during trawling is very effective as seabirds are not attracted to trawl vessels in the first place. Mitigation works best when measures are used in combination, making it possible to reduce seabird bycatch by over 90% and helping to protect many globally threatened species. This is part of an animation series produced in a collaboration by British Antarctic Survey and BirdLife International, funded by the Darwin Plus Scheme and animated by Hannah Whitman.